Well, the future of flying vehicles may finally be here. What was once something you only saw in the movies, like Back to the Future, is now reality in Dubai, where they've successfully tested a flying taxi. Our Jerusalem correspondent, Daniel Cohen, is live in Tel Aviv with a glimpse of the future. Daniel, I want to see you in one of these. Yeah. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. I want one, Allison. You're going to want one, too. Uh, and good morning, everyone. And I'm sorry, but I'm going to hit you with a little tease this morning. You know, to quote Doc Brown from Back to the Future, roads where we're going, we don't need roads. Look, if, if you're a fan of those movies, you'll know exactly what I mean when I say no flux capacitor necessary to travel to the distant future. We are getting a glimpse of futuristic technology today. Is it a car? Is it a plane? Or is it a drone? I don't know. This is the X2, a Chinese-made flying taxi making its debut in Dubai. I think it sort of looks like Marty McFly's DeLorean. I don't know. What do you think? Only this flying vehicle is electric, and it's a two-seater. In this uh, demonstration on Tuesday, the cockpit was empty, but the company says it carried out a manned flight, uh, a test flight last summer. The X2 can fly up to 80 miles an hour. It's powered by eight propellers. It weighs just over 1,500 pounds, and it travels 87 miles for about 45 minutes. Now, I know what you may be thinking. You're saying to yourself, well, Cohen, that's not all that impressive. But instead of seeing limitations, the Dubai Chamber of Commerce sees possibility. Listen. We expect that in 2024, the new generation of vehicles will be ready. And in 2026, you'll see more. As our leadership says, impossible does not exist. This is the first step in achieving the dream. X2 isn't the only company competing to make flying vehicles a reality in the next few years. Uh, Toyota, Boeing, Hyundai, just to name a few others. X2 is equipped with an intelligent flight control system and autonomous flight capability. Some of the others in production require a person in the cockpit. X2's uh, pilotless vehicles may soon ferry passengers across town high above congested roadways. The company also says it has a loftier goal of, get this, one day providing an intercity flying taxi service that can be summoned with an app, say like Uber, uh, Uber or Lyft, to be flown by autopilot with supervision from a human pilot situated remotely. Allison, again, I don't know whether to call this a car, <laughs> a plane, a drone, but we have certainly come a long way from the Wright brothers in 1903, a little bit more like the Jetsons, but to me, <sighs> mind blown. What do yeah, you think? Yeah, I mean, it's amazing. I did I did know all those references you were making to Back to the Future, yeah. Marty McFly, all of that. I watched those sure. movies. They were great. I'm not sure about having one in the New York City area, though. I mean, the way right. people drive in the city, safety. can you imagine? <laughs> yeah, safety is definitely an issue still that they're working through. Uh, the battery, definitely something they're working through. Yeah. But look, they say this is not some far off, you know, this is this is closer than we all think. And uh, they showed it yesterday. Yeah, so 2024. That's great. All right, Daniel Cohen, yeah. thank you so much.